Assalamualaikum. Sorry, I've been so busy with work. Uh, I missed last week's video, but I've been thinking a lot this week. And this week, I am dedicating to this rumor that people, Muslims, have in their mind that Allah loves converts more than born Muslims. So this is how I see this. Yes, alhamdulillah, praise Allah that I was allowed to be able to see the truth and I'm very grateful every day for that. But born Muslims were chosen to be born in a Muslim family by Allah. So same as I was chosen, you were chosen. So don't think that he loves me more than you. He loves us all the same. And the more that we do for Allah, the more we can guarantee and feel this love. The other thing I want to talk about is a lot of people, they talk to me um, about like how converts are better Muslims than born Muslims. And this isn't always true. Um, but I think I understand why they see it like this. Um, Basically, we chose to be in this religion and um, born Muslims, they, they, were, they were given this and they didn't have a choice in the matter. Anytime anybody chooses to do something in their life, of course they're going to strive in it. If you choose to play a sport that you love, of course you're going to work harder at it instead of maybe somebody like your parents telling you you have to play this sport. But it doesn't have to be this case because it's really up to us. How much do you love Islam and how much do you want to know? How far do you want to go into the religion? This is really up to you in the end. There's like endless resources that we can actually do. And I find listening to like podcasts from like Islamic scholars and stuff, it really helps me to like have an understanding and put Islam like more in my daily life and use Quran like in my situations in life. Um, also like... People somehow are people, but they like to act like sheep and they like to follow what everybody else is doing. And I don't think this has to be the case. It's really up to you. You don't have to like follow how everyone else is like seeing Islam. You can study it for yourself and you can learn for yourself and make your own decisions because Allah, he gave us free will and he gave us common sense. So we can decide for ourselves also what is good and bad. I'm not saying don't listen to scholars and everything. But we have Quran and we have Hadith and these are like our law books, how we deal with people and how we live our daily lives. So if you feel like you're not being the best Muslim you can be, then that's really only you to blame. And it's up to you how much you want to be close to Allah. Because the closer we are to Allah, the more Allah is there for us when we need Him. And I've seen this many times, many times in my life. So whether it's a good time or a bad time, always remember your prayers. And even if you feel like stressed and like so busy, just take those five minutes because the rest of your day is going to go beautifully. <laughs> so this is my message this week. Sorry if it's short, um, but this is what I've been thinking about this week. And um, Allah be with all of us. Ma salama. سبحان الله والحمد لله ولا إله إلا الله